Well, I went to treatment. Okay. Because I actually wanted to, and I've been to a lot of treatment Key centers thing. over the years. You wanted to. I wanted to, and that's the big difference between this and all my other previous uh, stints in rehab. Okay. Was I actually wanted to change my life this time. Yes. I was I, I was done. And and the thing is this. I, what I tell people is like, look, you, at a certain point, you're going to have to change. You're going to have to get clean, right? And, like, if you don't, I'm not saying tomorrow. I'm not saying next week. I'm not even saying next year. But, but if eventually. You're, but if you're lucky enough to still be alive, you're going to wake up one day. Because I'm seeing where you at right now and the path that you're on. You're going to wake up one day and you're going to realize that you're standing in the middle of the rubble from your life that you burnt to the motherfucking ground. Straight out. You literally and you just, standing dead smack in the middle of it. If you lucky enough to still be alive. Yes. And you're going to be like, damn, like, how did I get here? What happened? And you're going to want to do something about it. And yes. by that point, it might be too late or so much. It's never too late. But so much damage might have been done. It's going to be a lot harder than if you just take the step right now to do something Don't wait. about it. Yeah. Don't wait. I waited till I burned my life to the ground. You know what I mean? Like, and if I didn't clean when, when I did, I was, I was finna die. There's 1000% 1, 1, chance that I was finna die. Like I brought back, brought back to life multiple times from overdoses yes. and all kinds of shit and situations I put myself in. Oh, and, so you've OD before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Where they give you that couple, that, that black, that, that, um, where it looked look like, um, what they put tar? Yeah, yeah, the charcoal. Looks like charcoal. charcoal. Yeah, yeah. You had to drink that for your stomach. I, I don't had I don't have my stomach pumped. Yes. I done been narcaned back to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wasn't playing. Huh? Uh, I, you went hard. And, and that's another thing. I be having survivor's remorse because of things like that. Like I be feeling like survivor's guilt. You feel me? Like I feel like, damn. Like so many of my partners didn't make it. My best friend. Is dead from this same affliction. Oh wow! You know what I mean, like. Um, but you can't have survivor's guilt. It wasn't for you to die. Just like you said, you believe in God, so you can't be guilty that you are still here. So what you feel like? Oh wow! I, I should have left too. Are you? You don't feel that way, right? I just sometimes I just feel. Sometimes like I, you do. I just feel like I don't deserve like the good things that are happening for me. Why know? not, like, loved one? You do deserve it. I just I just feel like um you know like I. Sh it's cool. Know. Let it out. Let it out. Give him a uh, paper towel. Let it out. It's cool. Let it out, loved one. Yeah. Let it out. It's just like... Let it out, loved one. I, I it's know. better to let it out. Go ahead. I don't feel good about myself no matter what. Like, Why not? Uh, Life is good for you right now, loved one. I don't know. It's just... It, it's hard. Like, I just feel like, you know, if it wasn't for No Jumper uh -huh. popping off when it did for me, like, which is like... A, a, it was a fluke. Because, okay. Because I was, you know, I, I came back when I got the next day when I got out of there, mm -hmm. I was doing podcasts mm -hmm. and um, I did three podcasts and um, and, and then I, I was I didn't even know that I was going to see Adam and AD and them and uh, and they were sitting down about to shoot their pod. Wow. So I was just saying, what's up? Wow. I was just like, hey, what's going on? How y'all doing? Like, you feel me? And yes. I, I, you know, and then AD was like, yo, Lush, why don't you come on the pod with us? That was God. And, uh, it, yeah. It's about being. The key thing to life, loved one, is about being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, and, and you know, you're and right. you was in the right place at the right time, and God opened the door for you, and look at you now. Like, yeah, sometimes we, we look back on our past of what we went through to get where we at, but everything that is happening good in your life right now, you deserve it. It's, it's hard for me to like really feel yeah. that OG. No, like. you have to. You have. I mean, here's why you have to, loved one. Your life would still be bad. You wouldn't have got off drugs if it wasn't. If life, good life, wasn't meant for you, you would still be on drugs. Yeah. You would still be fucked up. You still wouldn't care about shit. You know. You would look at life like fuck life. I'm, I'm gonna go do some powder. I'm gonna go do some meth. I'm going to go smoke some weed, drink some alcohol. That ain't you no more. No. You found your purpose in life. This is your purpose in life, loved one. You walked in that door that day not knowing 
that was a gift from God. Yeah. Not even knowing. You just, I'm just here. Like, like you said, I didn't know I was going to see Adam. I didn't know I was going to see AD. I, you didn't know. And yeah, man, come on the show. And like, and, it's crazy. Look at it now. Yeah, it's it's crazy how that because and, and you know I want to give a, a shout out to Laura because definitely Laura, Laura always told me like hey because I was always like what can I do like I wanna I wanna get more you in, went the extra in, mile in, integrated with yes. no jumper and yes. maximize this opportunity yes. she was like just really like it's all about the personal relationships just just hang out show up and she always like pr impressed that upon me but I always like I didn't want to be a bother and I kind of had like a man then maybe these people don't really like me they don't want me around so I just never really did so you and know what you got to change to that that negative frame of mind yeah you know what i mean just like me loved one when i first started coming here i i didn't come here for an interview you yeah. know I, my, I come to support my nephew ad yeah. you know like nephew got a podcast i'm gonna come up there i'm gonna support him i'm gonna hang out i oh man tell adam to interview me i i, I don't do that it, it's about being a team player if it wasn't for ad inviting me on that day like i don't know what i don't i don't know if i would have like I don't know what would have happened. Well, life was written, loved one. It was meant for you to be here that day. That's why you was here that day. Straight and, out. And that's why I'll always, like, you know, like, and then Adam giving me a shot. Because I, when I was on the pod, mm -hmm. I was kind of thinking, like, mm -hmm. oh, maybe the people don't like me. Like, you feel me? Like, maybe they think I'm. Got to stop thinking negative, man. Not everybody's going to like you. Yeah. Not everybody's going to like me. Not everybody's going to like everybody. That's just, you know what I mean? That's a part of life. You can't expect everybody to like you that's too much like right it's just a lot everybody of, to like you you know like a lot of fans were made had been making comments like oh this fool's lame this podcast sucks. And, and, and you're gonna listen to it i mean you, you're gonna really you're gonna really listen to a person sitting behind a fucking computer that's probably in a whole nother fucking country on the other side of the world saying something about somebody that he don't know personally no nah. you can't you can't allow it you can't allow it to affect you because it's like i don't even know you they don't know you yeah, it just you, you're right. You're right. It just it just made me think like, damn, they, the the fans ain't gonna like me, but I was wrong. And then like, and it was the complete opposite. And of course, well, how the fans take to you now? The, I mean, you know, for a lot of I get a lot of love. Okay, but I'm with a the lot of love overpower the no love, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all that matter. Yo, we just hit four hundred thousand subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to five hundred k. Yeah.